Okay, why, we're back with why you're using a long line. It's going to fail to actually be to give these people a 40 foot line and say, pull it and say, come. It's going to listen. Oh my God, it's not. It's going to try to get away. It's going to grab the long line. It's going to start pulling on it. It's going to be awful. Anyway, so if you said, what do you need? You do need. Oh, hi, Michelle. Oh, do you like this dog? Don't even think of getting one of these. Don't even think about it. Briggy plays the role of... Oh, I'm like... Briggy's the she bottom now, remember? That was that old Briggy video, how to form a shield. Because she relentlessly bullied that little chihuahua. So if he said what's happening, oh, it's jumping on my back. If he says it getting any reaction, no. It's not. So... You're failing if you use a long line. I mean, just pseudo knowledge, that's what it is. If you have pseudo knowledge, if you said, I've looked extensively into this woman's catalog and this is the biggest bunch of bullshit that I have ever seen <laughs> as far as dog training is concerned. Okay. <laughs> There's my response, Mike. Yucky ducky. <laughs> Yoki dokey. <laughs> There's that one video of walking three dogs. Everyone thought that was so great. <laughs> it was awful. I never even did it before. I mean, you can't practice that. You have to just get three of them that do it and try to throw them together. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. That's how I always did it. If you practiced, it, got, it went south. You had a little window where they, it was new and they would go along with it. <laughs> so... This dog jumps on you like a linebacker, which it's getting ready to do. So I just went over there. OMG, I can't even believe that dog's going right by the gate and taking a crap. If you said, well, not like it's going to step in it when it's running around when its owner comes, oh, that's exactly what it's going to step all in it. Oh, it's unbelievable. And now it's going to want a treat. It, it's trained to poop in full view if the pit is just honestly in love. <laughs> Get a grip! All right, look, so... <laughs> Get a grip. Oh, hi, John. All right, so this is what you need to do. do and now I see how let's get it right by the gate to make sure it gets stepped in. <laughs> John's like he's losing it. Yay! This is what you need to do now, John, is you need to start doing the platform with the pager. So if you said, when am I going to do it? It's right here. It's thinking of jumping. I'm just racing it over that way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If you said, what about, oh, in 10 minutes, it'll be out there in those bushes looking for rabbits where it could easily poop and bother nobody. Oh, that's right. Get right in the middle and do it now. Jesus Christ, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if they make marijuana legal, I'll be able to get a prescription. <laughs> I just you said, but based on this video, now it wants a treat for doing it. <laughs> if you said you give it one, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> So, <laughs> it's based on that 30-second clip. There's this lady just here. Take it, go. <laughs> just get the hell out of here, lady. If you said, no, no, it's going out into the bushes. <laughs> it's looking for rabbits. All right, so that's, that's what you're doing. I can now get the dog. We're just talking point A to point B. So if you said you're just flipping it around, yes. Point A when you're doing the recall is the pager at the distance. That's point A. Point B is you. This way, it's different. Point A is you, point B is the platform. I hope that makes sense, John. But, I mean, keep doing the recall. Wait until he's out there. I'm going to tell you when the perfect time to do it. When that dog is out there facing the ocean, I want you to turn around and get gone. If you say, well, he's not going to just start swimming away. He's blocked and there's something in front of him stopping him from going forward. So... That's the perfect time where he's, his plan when he turns around is going to be, oh my God, he's taking off. Catch him. Catch him. And it looks like there's nobody around. If you said, should I run? Yes. Run. If you said backwards, no, never run backwards. Turn your back on the dog. Wear a Dave Haas hoodie. If you said, why? Right, because it has a, an emblem on the back. <laughs> John's like, okay, where do I get this hoodie? 
Oh, it's retro vintage. You'll have to scour eBay. <laughs> Just like I'll do it. Anything for sale. Okay, it's all the way over there. Watch. So if he said, what was that? What was that? It was... Point A was where it was over there. Point B was the platform and the handler together. So the synergy of the platform and the handler. So it's called the plandler. <laughs> Mike's like, oh my God, she's so far off the deep end. But it's true. I'm, I'm racing it to myself. If the platform's a de facto handler, watch. Brady, get out of my way. <laughs> oh, she might trip me any second. That's all it is. Point A, point B, point A. It's flipping the script. If you said, what do we want it to do? Go directly from... Okay, it's going way over there. Watch. Directly from point A to point B. We just need to understand that that's changing. You know, point A is the point where the dog is away from the dog. If you said, where would the point away from the dog be? Point B, if you were sending the dog far away you know that's why i tell people you have to do it as a recall if you don't know how to send a dog far away to a remote sit the only thing you should really be doing at a distance is the recall because once it gets back beside you you've got more control you've got you know you can get it to do things it's going to stay with you or whatever if you do it right i mean to do anything other than that at a distance it's just a waste of time it is Yay. So I know I'm doing it right because it's going on its own. It's thinking about it wants a drink, though. If you said, what's the caveat? Oh, it'll guzzle water like there's like John Belushi in that movie Animal House. Yeah. And then it will urinate all over itself if you're not careful. Oh, hi, Mr. Newman. Yeah. If you said that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. These people bought this puppy back one time. They thought it had an ectopic ureter. Oh, they researched it online. They got to vet to say, well, it might be that. If you said, was it? No. I said, if you said, what did I say to him? I said, do you have a pool? Yeah. Oh, it swims every day. I said, that's what it is. They can't hold it when they're a little puppy. They guzzle. You know, like Jessica was saying, oh, he doesn't drink when he swims. Trust me. They drink when they swim. Every stride. All right, watch. So it's headed for the water because it's thirsty. So I'm going to let it go. I don't want it to have an inhibition of leaving the handler. If you said why, then you create a little glass house and it'll break through it. Watch. Bobby! <laughs> really helped sweep her along. Yeah. They're gonna have a short lope though. If you said, I can't let it loose and have it enjoy itself. I have to take my hands and slap my hands around and stuff to get it going. <laughs> You know, there's no demarcation line between all through and what you're doing. As you said, this one might take off after Briggy. It might. She said, where's Briggy going? She's headed for the bunny trail. Look at her. She knows they cross over there. Look at her. Yay. Yay. She said, what's that? Psychic recall. All right, let's go. Let's go see the bunny trail. He said, what are you trying to develop? And the dog get on its own naturally. If it does run away, runs back on its own. <laughs> so is this sort of like a boomerang? Kind of. Look at him. There's the bunny trail right there. You see it? Yep, right there. Uh-oh, she actually went into the bunny trail. What the hell's going to go with her? Oh, she came back. Oh, look at her. She's ready to start pointing out any bunnies. Look at her. Look at her. Bobby! You want the dog appearing in front of you. Okay. I'm sure the rabbits are out. It's pretty early. Come on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, uh, that's the other. That, well, that's. See, that's the bunny crossing. But the trail has two sides. Obviously. Watch. Puppy! Let's see this thing. Big. 
And you can see in their videos, they've got a very specific target. They're going for that hand. If you said, no, I want them just generally coming in my direction. I don't. I don't. I want them as they get close to be able to say, right here. And I mean, over here. Oh, I got to the side. Some of those ones where they're all coming at me, that one I'm just going, oh. And I'm wincing. If you said, oh, I don't do that when five 90-pound labs come at me. I do. <laughs> I do. That one I'm running. There's a couple I'm running from. I see these suckers coming at me full blast. I take off running. <laughs> if you said, I know, that just makes it worse. I know. <laughs> I have to just at least get up against something. All right, look, Briggy's gone. Watch. If you said, make it reappear. Psychic recall. Watch. Let's go this way. I don't even think you need to say anything. You know, if I was out here screaming yes, yes, yes every two goddamn seconds, I can't even imagine. Jesus. It's all unspoken. The unspoken language are there. Puppy! <laughs> if you said, what did I do? I did add two nicks at 24. If it was diving into the bushes, that's why. You know, if you're going to ask these kind of questions, I'm going to block you. <laughs> why? It dove into the bushes. If you said, what's in the bushes? <laughs> I don't know. That's exactly the problem. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to do, do like a little cut in right here, Mike. A little cut in right here, maybe. And maybe widen this part a little. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look, I just spotted a rabbit. I told you, this is their main condo. Yeah, these are the luxury condos. These are the high security condos here. Yeah. Yeah, they got squirrels running security in these trees. So the squirrels chirp. They know danger, danger, hide. Squirrels making themselves a target. Us rabbits will hide. Yeah, if you said it would be really hard for something to get in there undetected, almost impossible, except for maybe a snake. Watch. Puppy! Even a snake, it might be, still be crunching along a little bit. All right, let's keep going. But yeah, that's where they live. And, you know, there's not that much grass on that side. <laughs> they live on the grassy side. That's the wrong side of the tracks over there. All right, I think we can go back here. All right, look. You know, if you said a companion dog is trying to stay with the people, I would say, God, yes, you're not going to be able to task these people with commanding this thing to stay with them if it doesn't want to. Hardly. Hardly. Anyway, I'm going to get the mower. He said, where's Briggy? I shall find us. Uh, I'm going to get the mower, and, you know, if I cut this... Uh, look, look, he said, where's it going? Mm -hmm. It thought better and came back. Yay. Hey. Still convinced I'm gonna find that old remote one day. You know, hanging in a tree or something. She said Briggy's missing. Mm, she's gonna show up pretty quick, wait and see. If she said, does she run away? No. If you said she's in there killing a rabbit, oh God, no, please. <laughs> please God, no, don't start my Friday like that. I can try doing my verbal. My last resort is always the verbal. She may think we're good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's Molly back there. Molly's giving away our position, damn it. Look at this one. If you said, do they kind of realize that's like the back of the house? No, watch, watch, watch. Oh, perfect, perfect. Puppy! <laughs> if you said it was taking off, kind of. <laughs> She's looking for us somewhere. If you said, how are you going to know? Oh, I'll be happy to find us. Look, 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 look. Puppy! It's on the face of the other. Oh, it didn't see me. If you, it's like Predator. If you stand still. And this lighting, if you, uh-oh, uh-oh. So where is it going? Who knows? 
see if there's something. Watch, watch. Oh, look, yay! Look at the cat dragged me. Watch, watch, watch. Puppy! Where's my pager? Yay. He said, what is it after? I don't know, but... Briggy! Yay! Whatever it is, Briggy's after it, too. He said, how often do they catch one? Mm. Once. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's gone. Puppy! Yeah. He said, what's it after? Mm, I don't know. Something in those bushes. He said, what's in there? Something. I mean, there's stuff in there. I don't know what to tell people. He said, like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Armadillos. I think I've got a video of the armadillos. You can hear them. They kind of click along. Yeah, you can hear them walking along. It makes a clicking sound. It's a whole family of them. Yeah. There's always like five or six of them. All right, look, look, look. Puppy! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I just saw. If you said that makes those little holes right there. Armadillos. Oh, I'm sure there's got to be armadillos out there. There's always, let's see if we see more armadillo holes. They get little grubs out of the ground. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Puppy! So I'm adding my Nick. If you said, well, I'm 40, 39. If you said, when, as it's proceeding forward into the bushes, as far away as I can let it get. If he said right when it gets to the edge, no. Let him get on in there. Let him get on into the bushes. <laughs> that's, my, that's my methodology. Let him get on in there. All right, he said, look at it go, look at it go. Son's bitch is howling. Puppy! closed on pretty fast, didn't it? That's why I rushed to the curb. That's why I scooted to the curb and got, stuck my hand out. So you're getting plenty of speed, you're getting plenty of distance, you're getting plenty of running at this handler is the best thing that ever happened. My God, this is the funnest game I've ever played. Catch the slow handler as it foolishly tries to escape over and over. So fun and steal a treat. <laughs> funnest game ever. That that's a good way to intro the Nick, absolutely. Heightened reality, out of sight of the handler. Handler confident that this thing is, you know, it understands to come back, and it wants to come back. But it also wants to go in the bushes. And the success rate is low, low, low. low. <laughs> the success rate is nil, <laughs> going in the bushes. Puppy! Like I said, it didn't lose the stride. It didn't. You could hear its breath as it was running away. Same breath as it was running back, chugging. I was chugging. Got the big V8. Oh, yeah. This thing's got the big V8. Puppy! You said, is it going to be able to turn on concrete and stuff? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So you should though. You should get a sliding pit at your house somehow, Mike. Or if you, there are portable sliding sand pits that you can carry around. I mean, granted, you're gonna have to pull a trailer full of sand behind the van, but I mean, you know, you know, extra twenty, three, four, five hundred pounds. What that's gonna be on top of the door? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think it's really gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, so I can just do real quick to get in it to pick up the gloves, just because I think it'll do it pretty easy. Let me get her to bring it Oops. After she ran away. So 
doing basically at the same thing I was yesterday. I was sitting right here, I was sitting here, and I was putting it right there. Now I'm back on zero on my pigeon. I'm not going to be doing any nick close to the handler. That's why you're turning it to zero when the dog just to be safe. Ah! So the three glove drill, that's what we're going for. Lorenzo's out right now buying gloves, I'm sure. Oh, that's how we teach them to shop. Oh, that's how we teach them to bargain shop. They grab all three at once. That's how you know you're getting somewhere. If people say, is it like the AKC drill? Oh, no, no. That takes too much time. We have to get all three gloves at once. Ah! You said, is the shaking helping your cause? I better be careful. If you said now what? Now you can add a little distance. Less objects, more distance. So two gloves farther away. So it's her problem to solve. I'm still going to fulfill my end. If she just drops it, it's going to take longer. A lot of times if they smell a tree, if you get out of the way, they will decide if I can't find this, I know this is a sure thing. I know this is a sure thing. It's gonna be a sure thing. Okay, so if you said add more distance. My feet are together. And I'm not telling her to do anything. I'm just looking that way. If you said, what should she see when she looks over there? An opportunity for success. Yay. Yay. Ah. Oh. I have to pay fast. You said, what about making it hold when it gets there so it doesn't drop it? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you said that's going to cause a problem? Oh, yeah. That's going to be your main problem <laughs> once you try to start doing that. Am I wrong, Mike? <laughs> Should we make it hold it when it gets there? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so if you said, what do you want? I want it to look at my eyes and me not look back at it. I do like the platform, just being able to. Yay. If you said it'll never be able to do a hundred yard blind. He started to go, she started to go. He said, Briggy, get out in a minute and do it. I may use the Briggy effect. She's good though. She doesn't try to tear your fingers off. He said, "You like yes, I like that a lot." But they have to solve the problem themselves. If they drop it, whatever. You're only capable of this. That's your part. You might even, you know. So that was good, Tanya. That was good. So, you know, what you need, people need to understand reason a German Shepherd couldn't do, I mean, there might be some, but if you said, well, I can take German Shepherds and crank them out doing 100 yard blinds, I'd say, no, I don't think you can. The momentum isn't designed to go that way. It's designed to go towards a handler or against the helper. <laughs> not way far away, that far. So it's, they're not going to do it. When Mark worked at K2, the guy 
that owned it wanted him to train a shepherd to do it. He said, what did he, he told him it couldn't be done, that it's not, it won't do it, that it's not what you want. So, but that's always gonna be the rule. If you said, what other rule? If it failed, if the drill failed completely, it never went over there, then just cut it in half. If you said, just move it, no, don't move it a little closer. Just cut it immediately in half. And I don't think, this was the first time I've asked it to travel away. And you should use a footstool. So you're just thinking the smallest possible task is when it went from there to there. I'm just trying to make that exact same thing bigger. I'm not trying to say, go get it, send it away. If anything, I'm going away. All right, now I have to look through the object, and there's studies about this. Yay. <laughs> so you see how cutting my distance in half, but if you said, well, should I just stay at this distance? Well, that's when you're gonna run into a problem. You know, you should be doing drills where you're adding distance and adding objects. <laughs> what else can you do? You don't wanna just keep doing the same thing every single day, small. You're thinking of just the picking it up off the ground as honestly a micro task. If you said what, then it's a subtask. So if you said going from there to there, it's just, yes, that's the subtask. The micro task was putting it in my hand. So your subtask is taking it from point A, it's all point A to point B, I promise you. They're either traveling towards the handler or away from the handler. If you said during retrieving, during anything, during anything. You said, well, what about when they're staying still? Yeah, or they're staying still. But if you said, what is this helping it understand? That my level of consciousness is such that I'm not gonna just sit there and speak the king's English to you and you're gonna understand. I speak with my eyes. Sure, I'm blind as a bat, but you look back to see. Yeah. So she did it by me cutting it in half. By me cutting it in half, honestly, just to show you guys, it caused it to, you know, so if I would have said, well, I'll just move it in. I promise you, my rule of thumb is always, if you're having a problem, I just cut it in half immediately. And if you can fix it right there, then you probably can go over to there. I don't think I ever had to travel away before. Oh, hi, Christopher. How's the no smoking zone going? Good, I hope. All right, hang on. So that's, this is the new thing. I want you to get these gloves. Christopher's like, I don't do that kind of, oh, you know what, Christopher? Because when I was a kid, this is the first time I ever heard of Schutzen. It was in a book about dogs and it was all about dog training and somebody had lost I swear to god it must have been like from the 40s or something but either their glove or their wallet or something and the man went to the town and said I've lost my wallet and if he said what did they say the people said good god sir you need to get the Schutzend that's what they called it so I you know apparently back then in every town you had some Schutzend that some guy could be called upon if she said then what well the Schutzen then tracked the guy's movements, maybe he's drunk or something, and found the guy's wallet. So if you said, What did you say to yourself? What is this Schutzen? <laughs> That's what I said. What is this Schutzen? <laughs> they were just using it as a generic term. So I'm not using any words at all though. If you said what where where did you figure that out? Deaf dogs. So and I'm not telling it to do anything. I'm manipulating it into doing what I want by making it think. You know, I'm not saying to myself, I'm gonna be more athletic than this dog. I'm, I'm, I'm half asleep. I'm saying, if I wanted to go to that platform, I'll act like I'm getting there first. Nothing's, nothing's gonna stop it than me saying go over there. It doesn't have any momentum. It doesn't have any momentum. And unless it has momentum, that's what people have to say to yourself. You know, guys usually understand this because it's like a car. You're not going to the dealership and saying, do you have a parking spot I can pull into and park this thing? Park this thing. Where is the goddamn highway? If they say, would you like it to drive? City streets, my ass, buddy. Where's the highway? I'm getting ready to take this thing out there and put the pedal to the metal on this big V8. 
if you think I'm planning on parking it in your dealership parking lot, <laughs> you know, uh, to get uh, somehow see how this, to say I'm a real man in control of this car, please. I can't even park. They, the reason they invented cars that park themselves, people like me. All right, hang on. Dog's internal dialogue is my level of success around this handler is unbelievable. You know, I can it's, it's it's so clear. And Christopher, you know what? I'm gonna send you a video. In fact, I'll go get a pack of cigarettes. Oh, no, no, no! I'll get a pack of cigarettes. Yes, and I'll you, I'll make a skit video for you with this puppy that I have. And I haven't shown very many people this puppy, but I did motivate this girl one time. April, the movie dog trainer. I'll tell her to add you. She trains dogs for all the big Disney movies, everything. But she was train she was a head trainer for Marley and me. And she came to my house to pick up these puppies and she was trying to quit smoking. And I gave her this purse. And I said, every time you look at this purse, I want you to picture me over your head saying, I can't believe you're smoking these cigarettes. She said, that was like 10 years ago. She just messaged me. Thanks to you, I haven't smoked in 10 years. <laughs> Christopher's like, get over yourself, lady. All right, but I would say it's saying to itself, I, it hasn't failed at all since I got out here. It's had zero failures. I'm saying to myself, I will get to this platform first. It's saying there's no way that's going to happen. Now, even if I've got a head start, but it's, that's the reason I've got so much engagement. It's saying to itself, the success rate is... <laughs> it's not jumping. I mean, if you say correct it for jumping, it isn't jumping anymore. It, the reason it was jumping, it's got so much momentum. If it starts to jump on me, At least now I can kind of push it away. If you said even just with the movement, yes, but not with my knees. <laughs> yeah, because this thing will hit you like a goddamn linebacker. Oh, you're there, Christopher. Uh, oh, hi, uh, Karanjit. Uh, and I said, if you guys are using your hands to push this thing away to try to keep it from jumping, I can assure you it's not working. If you said, what did they say? Oh, no, we don't use our hands. We knee it. <laughs> Yikes. So that's all I'm thinking, though. If I, I'm either point A or point B. I'm either point A or point B. If that's point B. And the handler acts as a defect. The platform acts as a de facto handler. If you have to train by yourself... Oh, hi, John. Yes, if you train by yourself, there's actual books written about how to train retrievers by yourself. If you said how labor and that's unbelievably hard. They have to make the dog sit and walk out and freaking throw their own marks and come back and send the dog. If you said people do it, yes, they're that committed to it. So if I'm saying, okay, now I need to get it to point B. All I've got to do is act like I'm going very fluid. It's very fluid. If you said you're never going to be able to add words to this shit. And I tell people all the time, you can't have, you can't walk along saying heel, tugging on a leash. You're making heel mean I'm tugging on the leash. You, if there's a behavior, you can easily add a name to it. <laughs> if you said how, I've always had imports from Germany. You could walk along, say heel, sit, or whatever. They would do it. Then you could pretend, say it in German. One time I was pretending like I was training in every goddamn language. You know, it was doing it. It was regardless of the words. All right, look, so if you said, can you push it from there? I should be able to. If you said, how? Act like I'm going that way. You said I didn't buy it. But, you know, I'm systemically 
moving away, but by still driving it to that platform, I'm saying to myself, later I can drive it to myself. I can be the platform. Because a platform's a stationary object. And if you said, what's the greatest detriment to fast recalls? A stationary fucking handler that doesn't move, that stands there. <laughs> you've got to make a moving. You've got to see if a dog is at a distance and you're stationary, you look a lot different than if you're moving. You said there's more recognition if you're moving. You can fucking put a statue out there standing still. A cutout, you, you've got to get it in motion. You know, and I'm bending it right there with the pager. Bending it back in the direction of the handle, systemically moving away. All right, watch. He said, I don't like tight turns on a cane course. They're not going to like this shit, trust me. We're just doing it as a half moon. You said you're spinning it? Yes, you're spinning it around. So if you said, give me an example in cars. Tokyo Drift. It's going to Tokyo Drift. And if you said do it without the pager, that's not my job. My job is to get them to do as much as possible with the pager. So this, when I give it to the original handler, there is some commonality. If you said, what's the margin for error? Pretty high pretty high and Jules pretty sharp so she's gonna get it real quick if you said what do people generally tell you when you come back if I say does it come when it's called oh god yes <laughs> if, if you said what wouldn't you want well we don't really let him loose they routinely say oh yeah oh god no that's not a problem <laughs> it jumps on us though when we come in oh could that be anything to do with you all right so what Puppy. I'm adding that fishtail. If you said, where's that fishtail coming in? Well, that's my spin. Watch. It's just on a smaller scale. If you said, that's going to be by spinning it like that. When you hit that pager, when that thing is at a dead run, it's just going to have a reflex of spinning back to the handler. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Guilty as charged. You cannot do a remote set at 250 yards. There's no reason to do one. These people, Brits, talk about this emergency stop. If you said, what is it? And it's enough space that a guinea pig could go through. <laughs> They're literally stopping the dog two fucking feet from them. And so if you said, what are they doing? Killing their recall? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Systemically killing their recall by saying, slow it down, stop. I may not want you to come to me. I may want you to stay an arm's length away. Oh, God. It's effing painful. If you said it isn't watching me, it is watching me. And if you said, all you gotta do is just take off. I don't, I don't say let's go. I don't even do that. They just said they like to spin. They do like to spin. I don't know what to tell people. They like to jump. They like to go fast. You know, if you said, what's a dog's baseline behavior? Based on what I've seen. They like to run. They like to jump. If you said, what about the real excited on the other side of a door? Oh, oh they definitely jumped in. <laughs> so that's where we're at. And I am. I'm discouraged and disappointed. This guy today. Oh, going out of his way. If you're using a shot collar, you're failing. If you're using a long line, you're failing. If there's somebody... You know, and these all these people, I understand now, if you have a Malinois, you're immediately an expert. If you said, where did you learn that? Oh, from all these, you know, master trainers. And, and I don't mean people like you, Christopher. I, I know you're a serious pro trainer. You know, but these wannabes, and they go get a Malinois so they can be in the eye of a Malinois club, and then they're a fucking expert. <laughs> and they're going to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll get a Malinois one day just to show people. If you say, oh, that'll be the death of you. You'll get a jump and get caught in the trees. You know, you want it to be, if you said you're not making this dog stay with you. No, I can't get away from it. If you said try sneak, there's no sneaking away. They're like a... And it does work. 
If this dog wants to stay with you, it's saying to itself, what clues can I use to keep in tabs on this thing? If I have that pager on, it has an affect. If you said, well, it sees it as some sort of advantageous. If it says it's thinking to itself, how the hell did they get electronics advanced to this? <laughs> it's not thinking that. If I have the pager on, it still says, Helping you at all. It is. Anyway, just let me put this one out. I gotta run to Shannon's um, and drop off some blood. But anyway, oh hi Jenny, hi Jenny. Let me wave at Jenny. I'm not gonna. I'm only waving at Jenny, not any of you. Oh Michelle too. I love Michelle. Um. Oh Lindsay. Oh my God, girl. You send me your address, girl. I want to send Cam a little present. I did. Remember, I sent her a baby gift when she was born. Please, I'm going to message you and get your address because I want to send her just a little, little gift so she knows she's got fans out there rooting for her. Don't make me go find those old videos from that gym that I used to work at, remember that I went to. What was the name of that place? Oh, Get Fitness. Oh. So those videos are still Yes, they're still there. Those awful people, those trainers they had. Remember that one guy was like some child molester? Oh, my God. Absolutely. <laughs> Lindsay's like, are you sure? This isn't something you saw online? <laughs> one of your Discovery ID shows? No, remember, that was real. Remember, I brought a cake that one time for his going away party. Then we found out he was a creepy child molester. It was awful. People disappoint me. Not you, girl. Not you. All right, guys, we'll be right back.